in today's world, in this competitive world where we want to go out and work, uh, how do we make sure that the women who go out and work, they balance their life well? You know, spiritual leaders like you can certainly give them some practical understanding of how mm -hmm. to, you know, be there and uh, maintain their balance and be very well in a sense of spirituality also. This may not be good for certain industry, <laughs> but it's very important that you said just now, uh, men should also do this feminism. No, what we need is humanity. We don't need masculinism or feminism, we need human nature to evolve. If human nature evolves, women will naturally exhibit more feminine qualities, men will naturally exhibit more masculine qualities. There may be a little intermixing, some women may be more masculine, some men may be a little more feminine, that's not an issue. But the important thing is our humanity should overflow, not our masculinity or our femininity because you're talking about skewing life. Don't skew life, we will pay for it after some time. It's important life comes up in a balanced manner. You must understand in this country, this has been demonstrated in a thousand different ways. See, in the… in the culture and in a way in the world, the most masculine, athletic god that you can see is Shiva but one half of him is woman, all right? Literally, one half of him is woman to clearly show in symbolism that you're a combination of the two. If you're not balanced between these two, you will become a very skewed life. Any skewed life, either this way or that way, you're going to pay the price after some time. So if women have to succeed in today's world, why are we always thinking of putting a woman into a man's world and asking her to succeed. Why don't we redesign the world a little bit, as it is suitable for all human beings? You must understand the world got designed like this at a certain time in history, when let us say, now so many ladies are sitting here, let us say it's thousand years ago, many of them have traveled long distances and come, I'm sure, thousand years ago, you think so many of them would have traveled and come? They are coming here not because the society has become liberal, they are coming here because of technological means of transport. So technology has come, machine has overpowered the muscle. So now what matters is your success largely depends on your intelligence, not on your muscular strength. So now a level playing field is being created just now. Already don't jump the gun, let us continue to do this, gradually it will anyway level out. But if you… F if you try to forcefully change things, you will see it will create ugliness. And in the end, it is women who loses out because there is a certain sensitivity that she needs in the society. If everything is run by rules, she will suffer, hard rules. Man doesn't care, he will go on. But women will suffer, it's very important, a sensitive society is created, not just by law. Little sensitivity is needed, law can be made ugly for the woman, yes? Law can be made very ugly, you took up uh, Draupati's uh, example, this is what happened. They went by the word of the law and made it so ugly for her. If there was little sensitivity in that court, they would have said, this is not it, isn't it? But they went on debating dharma, dharma, dharma and they said, okay, this is the law and they interpreted it in a thousand different ways and made her go through the disgraceful situation. So we must understand this, if sensitivity has to come, it is important that we restructure the situation itself rather than trying uh, to put a, you know, a round thing into a square hole. It doesn't work like that. If you do that, there will be friction, there will be unnecessary sufferings. Every generation will suffer like this. It's very important we restructure the workspaces because now so many women are wo beginning to go out and work. We need to change the external situation rather than women changing themselves like men and going out and being successful. We need to redesign the world and that won't happen overnight. We need to pay attention to it. What is the requirement?